All right, today's video, we're going to talk about Aurora Asset Editor. I have not found this particular issue I'm having. Um, it might be out there, it might not be. I looked, um, but decided that I would just go through and make this myself versus trying to find, uh, you know, dig and dig and dig and dig, trying to find these specific games. Um, let me load up my cheap capture software here. So, Aurora Dash, you have your cover art. You don't have your cover art, and I don't like that. I want it to have the cover art on there. I want it to look decent. Um, so these two games in particular, we can go to details, come on down, go over to download cover. No covers are found. Um, if you go to Xbox Unity, trying to find the cover for this specific title ID, you're not going to find it. It's not there. So... Um, we are going to make it. We, you know, I want to have the cover art on there. So get yourself Aurora Asset Editor. Um, that can be found through Google. And then get your cover photos. So we're going to start off. We can delete that. There's our cover photo. Um two things so I'm going to be using two different computers here this computer that we're on right now I don't take online it stays offline it houses all my files everything um, I don't I don't need it to be online very rarely do I need it to be online like now it'd be great if it was because then I wouldn't have to jump back and forth but it's just it's just better to keep this one offline um, so two different things here number one for the cover photos you can go to the coverproject.net and they have covers, raw cover scans for so, so many games. So if you run into this issue with a different game somewhere, or if you want to start making your own packs for emulators, you know, whatever it may be, this is the spot. The next thing you're going to want to do um, is get your title ID for your game. So if you just go into Google, uh, type in for this, I'm going to type in Need for Speed Carbon Original Xbox Title ID. The first thing that pops up in Google should be GitHub. It'll be your Xbox original game list.tsv. Now you can go through that search for your game, but if you just type into Google exactly what you're looking for, um, like I just said, Need for Speed Carbon original Xbox title ID, it'll actually show up in the header um, right below the title of the website it takes you to. So our specific title ID here is 454-1009E. You don't want to worry about the two first bytes, the 0x. We don't want to worry about that. Um, we just want everything after the X. So now that we've done that, let's go into Aurora Asset Editor. Now I'm only after the background, uh, or the, the box art cover. I don't care about the background, the icon, banner, screenshots. But you can go through and do this for the entirety. Um, I just want that box art for the dashboard. So minimize this. Go through Need for Speed Carbon. Now, if you have this online, you can save your assets to FTP if you're connected to FTP since I'm not on this computer. It's not going to work, but we're just going to drag and drop that to your box art cover. Now, if you want your background, your icon, drag and drop your screenshots, whatever, same thing. So now that we have that, we want to go to file. We want to save all assets. Now we're going to have to specify our title ID because it has to match the title ID that's stored on HDD1 of your Xbox 360. So 4541009E. Okay. Folder. Uh, we're in Need for Speed Carbon. Oh, it's not selecting folder. There we go. Select folder. There are our assets. Okay. Now we can go create new. X out of that. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, drag and drop that over. Now I gotta jump on my laptop real quick and get the title ID for Marvel. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. All right, and now we have our title ID, so we can close out of that. File, save all assets, specify your title ID, and we are looking at 415. 415-600-5C. Okay. 
Oops, we don't want to put it there. We want to put it Marvel Ultimate Alliance, select holder. And there are our assets. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it over here. I'm going to get my microphone hooked up to my laptop, and we're going to continue on from there um, just for the FTP, FTP portion of things. Um, so we'll pick back up here in a sec. All right, I had some issues getting my microphone set up. Apparently, I've never used it on my laptop before, so I had to go through and install the uh, driver software, get it set up with uh, the ShareX program I use for screen recording, and looks like we're all good to go. So, connect to your Xbox Flash FXP. Um, we're going to go into the HDD1 folder. If you don't know how to connect, um, just basically go on to... Uh, File Manager, get your IP address. I'll actually come through Disconnect real quick. So I'm just going to go to Quick Connect. That's my IP address, my local IP address, FTP, port 21. Put in the address. Username, Xbox FTP, password, Xbox FTP. Unless you've changed it, that's what it's set to by default. So now that we're in here, HDD1. So now we need our title ID again. So I'm going to pull up in Google here. So here is the coverproject.net. <coughs> that is where you're going to get your covers from. Next, come up here, type in what you want. So here's what we want, and it'll pop up. This is the first thing. That is what we want right there. So 454-1009-E. So now we are going to go into Aurora. We're going to go to Data. We are going to go to Game Data and find our game. There's our game. Open it up. So it already has the asset info saved. Obviously, it's not the uh, correct asset info. So, bring these over, drag and drop, overwrite all, so there we have that. And so for the next one, I already know what the game ID is, it's right here, this is for Marvel, so now we're going to go through the same thing. drag and drop, overwrite all. So now that that's done, you can go through, do it you know, all the way down the line for whatever else you need. Considering that's all that I need here, um, we'll go ahead and jump back on to the desktop PC and take a look at our screen. All right, so now that we're back over here, <clears throat> this is where you find your IP address. Just hit the back select button, whatever you want to call it. And so you can go through and you can try to refresh everything you want. It's not going to show up right away. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that. So we're going to hit the back button again. We're going to come on down to restart. We're just going to restart the Xbox. And now if you come through, we do have our two box arts, our cover photos which is what we wanted, what I wanted. Um, so that's how you're going to go through and do it for you know any, any game that does not have the cover art. Um, a lot of the original Xbox games are not on Xbox Unity, so you will have to go through and do this manually um, for a lot, <laughs> a lot of games. But this is how you do it. Um, you can find Aurora Asset Editor, editor on uh, Google, I'm not going to link it here because I don't know if there's been an update to it. Mine's pretty old. There might be, there might not be. Um, but I don't want to take away from the developers on that. They, you know, the traffic uh, for their downloads probably makes them money somehow. Don't know. But, um, yeah, that's all there is to it. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the video if you found it helpful. Drop a like, drop a comment. Um, take a look at the rest of my videos. I do have some fairly informative things out there. And if you're looking for Marvel Blast Ultra, the full version, you can get that on my Wix website. I did unlock it. Um, I do have a video on how to unlock it if you'd like to give it a shot. It works for any demo. Um, 
just follow the video, swap out the game. <sighs> Fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.